Welcome back to Fox 51 today. Trini Mother Francis has some very, very impressive technology to tell you about this morning. We've got Dr. Weiner here today. He's going to tell us about heart mapping. Good morning. Good morning. All right, will you explain to us exactly what heart mapping is? We are uh, dealing with a uh, fairly common condition. Lots of patients uh, have this type of problem. I bet you most of your viewers know at least one person in, uh, in and around them that has atrial fibrillation. It's a common abnormality where people have palpitations, shortness of breath, other types of problems. It doesn't, well, it doesn't respond well to medications. Frequently we have to take patients to the hospital to try to do procedures to get rid of these abnormal heart rhythms. These abnormal heart rhythms come from multiple different locations so these mapping uh, techniques allow us to find the problem areas and eliminate them to uh, rid of uh, patients uh, problems uh, hopefully permanently. Mm -hmm. And Tree Mother Francis is the only hospital in the state that has this technology I believe? Uh, this, uh, we are excited to be the first uh, hospital in Texas, one of mm -hmm. five in the United States to have this new technology that allows us much higher resolution mapping. Mm -hmm. uh, it's um, effectively a GPS for the heart uh, that that allows us to figure out where we are and where we need to be, but it does it with much higher precision and uh, much more rapidly than the currently available systems. Wow, so then once you find out the areas that are the problem uh, areas then, so what do you do then to treat it? How is that approached? Uh, this is uh, this is a great question. We typically uh, get rid of the problem with a procedure called an ablation, where we localize the problem areas, and then we use electrical current to burn uh, burn the uh, problem areas and destroy them completely. It typically restores the normal heart rhythm and allows for the normal uh, electrical system of the heart to take over. Mm -hmm. Now, what person would be eligible to get their heart, or the person that should really get their heart mapped? What kind of person would that be? The, uh, the, uh, there's a number of different abnormal heart rhythms that, uh, that can be treated this way. It's typically for patients who have abnormal heart rhythms that cannot be uh, uh, effectively treated with medication. So patients with atrial fibrillation, patients with ventricular tachycardia, and other types of heart rhythm disturbances. It's usually fairly obvious uh, from EKG and clinical examination most uh, physicians would be able to recognize these conditions and uh, certainly can uh, uh, forward those difficult patients uh, for, uh, for us to look and see if they can be suitable for an ablation. So the, some of the, you mentioned some of the heart disturbances. What uh, are some issues that people that have these disturbances, what are they affected with and can those lead to heart attack? necessarily. There's, uh, there's a possibility for a number of different uh, uh, problems related to these uh, arrhythmias. Sometimes it's just uh, palpitations, uh, feeling short of breath, feeling weak and not well, but sometimes it's much more significant problems like heart attacks mm. or the most common problem with atrial fibrillation is stroke. That's mm. one of the most common causes of stroke and is an area of great concern to us. Now is there a certain age that someone should go to the doctor and make sure everything's working correctly with their heart or just you know, wait until they start feeling any symptoms. Typically for most of these uh, conditions, we uh, wait uh, for uh, patients to develop symptoms before uh, they come to uh, see us for these problems. Uh, obviously, if you have a strong family history of cardiac problems or if you have some, uh, some feelings that you can't quite explain, uh, it's uh, probably a reasonable uh, strategy to uh, check with the doctor and get checked out, get an EKG, see, uh, see if there's anything uh, that's wrong. Mm -hmm. So th this is obviously, can th this technology be used to uh, for anything related to blockages or is this primarily just to see where these... No, this is a different type right. of an area. It's, uh, this uh, involves electrical malfunction, right. so it doesn't really fix the plumbing, mm -hmm. but, uh, <laughs> but it is uh, real helpful if you have lots of short circuits. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, this is some great technology. Are there any other breakthroughs that you guys are in, in technology that you have over there at Training Mother Francis recently? We're, uh, we're, we're excited working on a number of different uh, approaches to uh, treating heart disease. As you know, it, it continues to be a very common problem with lots of patients getting hospitalized and having um, um, problems with their uh, quality of life. We're looking at a number of different uh, interventions that allow a more, mi uh, a more minimally invasive approach, whether it's heart valve surgery, whether it's uh, treatment of atrial fibrillation, or whether it's uh, treatment of uh, blockages. We have a number of 
relatively new uh, technologies as well as some experimental technologies that are not really available anyplace else. As we do have a robust uh, research program to kind of bring new technology to, to people of East Texas. Well, thank you so much for stopping by this morning, Dr. Weiner. Thank you. Thanks. Pleasure to be here. Thank you. Coming up next.